A Saudi Arabian company, Power for Defense Technologies Corporation, has entered into an agreement with India's Bharat Electronics Limited, and this agreement will facilitate both the companies to collectively bring cutting-edge defense technologies and solutions to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, and will also elevate the bilateral relationship to a strategic partnership level. Saudi Arabia had shown interest in the Akash missile system, and being over 96% indigenous, there is no need to seek any third country's approval to export the Akash system. India is also keen to export its Astra Mark 1 air-to-air -air missile, radar systems and counter-drone systems in the Middle Eastern and South Asian market. The indigenous cavalry dry engine that is proposed to power the Aura unmanned combat air vehicle, will be heading to Russia in the next few weeks, and will be tested from an IL-76 flying test bed, which is a time-consuming and costly process. India lacks high-altitude flight test facility that includes a flying test bed for its military after burning turbofan projects, and using foreign facilities in Russia and France makes the engine highly vulnerable to external espionage. The gas turbine research establishment had requested two flying test bed, one being a modified IL-76 aircraft, and an old MiG-29 aircraft to test the pre-production ready engines, but the request has fallen into deaf ears. Under its Technology Development Fund, the DRDO extends financial support and expertise to eligible stakeholders, to upgrade existing products and systems. The DRDO has handed over the composite material seawater pump to the Indian Navy for naval applications, that has been realized under the Technology Development Fund scheme. Seawater pumps operate in highly corrosive environments, that requires frequent repairs and replacement, but this composite material seawater pump will have enhanced life and will meet military standards. The DRDO has successfully conducted the flight test of the indigenously developed high-speed expendable aerial target from its integrated test range, during which it has successfully demonstrated high subsonic speed trajectory at a very low altitude with high endurance. The DRDO has said, that the indigenous data link was designed by a Bangalore-based industry partner, that has made it a more versatile target. The UP Chief Minister has directed the Infrastructure and Industrial Development Department to take necessary action for the establishment of several drone manufacturing units in the state. Two companies Encore Research Lab and Allen and Alvin Private Limited are investing 550 crore rupees and 30 crore rupees to establish drone manufacturing plants. Tata Technologies has announced that after an extensive seven-month-long multi-phased procurement assessment process, it has been selected by Airbus as a strategic supplier. Tata Technologies will collaborate with Airbus across multiple areas and geographies through the Master Supply Agreement, and will also scale up its presence in France, Germany and Spain in coming years. President Ramnath Kovind visited the indigenous aircraft carrier, which has recently completed its second phase of sea trials, and will soon start another phase of sea trials, followed by takeoff and landing by MiG-29K fighters and integration of weapon systems. Officials have said, that indigenous content in construction of the carrier is around 76%, and it will be commissioned in August 2022. The Indian Army has launched a new messaging application called A-Sigma, that stands for Army Secure Indigenous Messaging Application, that has been developed entirely in-house by a team of officers of the Corps of Signals for in-house communication, 